Hello and welcome to the Superpower Dead. I team, I'm Peter. And I'm Rick. And today we're having a look at uh, episode one of Ultraman Blazer, which is a bit of a first for us because we have done uh, reaction uh, reviews to the openings of Ultraman and uh, Ultraman battles. Yeah, but we've never, and, yeah. yeah, we've never we've never really sat through a whole episode, even though or we have series. commented many times <laughs> yeah, um, of. I'd love to see it a bit more to get the, more of the context than what we're just seeing. So we've done it. We've uh, committed ourselves. We've watched one episode <laughs> of, a, of something that goes for about, spans 50 years, I think. Yeah. The first episode, it's called First Wave, and the um, episodes have become available on YouTube through the, the company that, that makes uh, Ultraman. So we'll put a link uh, in the comments below so you, if you'd like to check out episode one and you can't access it, you can have a look at it there. So the episode just jumps straight into the action with the with a kaiju attacking the city. We've got like a crack force of um, military people in a helicopter, I think, and they oh, some no, of them are nervous and some yeah. of them are not. Were they in a the helicopter? I don't know, like a, some sort of military vehicle where you jump out of with parachutes or skydive from. So. I yeah. um so this is this is dubbed this the, yeah uh, what we watched was dubbed and, and uh, with English subtitles that don't match the dubbing yeah no I, I tuned them off I just went with the I just went with the dubbed and yeah. and I think I'm not sure whether this hurts it or enhances it because in a lot of these uh, I haven't watched a lot of anime but I've I've watched things like uh, I think um, Gacha Man was Battle of the Planet so I watched. Uh, Another one, spaceship. I think it's spaceship Yakamoto, which was called Star Blazers here. Okay. So they are they they're things that were written and and spoken in Japanese, and then we had the um, the dubs over. And it, I think it was my the first thing I noticed is that when you when you dub things over sometimes and you get terrible voice actors and it yeah. just it just sounded <laughs> it sounded really cartoonish and I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Did. Yeah. Whether that was the intent or, but it, it just really sounded like Americans just being not quite getting, well, getting my it. Daughter, like my daughter words. was watching it with me and she thought she recognized um, some of the voice actors from some anime that she's watched. So, okay. It's probably the same, the same. Um, They're just doing the same style yeah. repertoire of people. But there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, Straight into the action, um, they try and fight this kaiju and with little success. Um, and there's another team in there. There's a, a, the other yeah, team in the building. But yeah, so we, we, we're introduced to this team that are, are diving off a plane to stop uh, the uh, enemy. And then there's and then we're showing another shot of a team in a building who are also another crack squad. Yeah, there was this whole thing about you know. And what's the one thing that what's the one rule? We all come back. Yeah, yeah. we all come back. That was the that was the plane team or the helicopter team. And then there's the other one with the grizzled uh commander. Yeah. He just seemed a bit more uh you know, Are they in white? Because there's a man. lady in white with a bazooka later on that uh, I thought appeared from nowhere, unclear. but maybe she was part of okay. that team. So so, yes, they, I would have they, liked a bit of backstory to where the um, kaiju yes. came from. Like, yeah. I just I mean, yeah, maybe like, okay. wanted to start with like something exciting, but I would have liked to have seen what you know where it came, like a bit of a build up or something. Yeah, but it was that was it. It was just it was there. Yeah. It was like okay, this is it. We're starting. It's just walking through the streets and destroying things. And and I, I was also intrigued about. It, it seemed like a. a, a a mix of um, uh, of special effects. You've got the reasonably good CGI of people jumping out of the plane and all that sort of yeah. stuff, and then you've got the people in rubber suits walking through yeah. obvious miniatures of city. So, and I was like, is, it, is that a bit of nostalgia? Is that just kind of how it's done? I don't but, think but it the, might be the, the, so probably a bit of both, but yeah. I think it would probably look better than than all CGI. I agree. But like they just like, it's like the lobster creatures like tongue that that 
rubber tongue just <laughs> around its mouth. Just, <laughs> it's like a mix, like a crab monster mix with like a lizard type thing, wasn't it? Yeah. So then they're but in yeah, the it, battle, but and it, 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 there's no backstory. Like we don't no, know we why don't know it's where attacking it came the city. From. We don't so know if there's in, in the future just, just episodes, there. maybe we'll hear, we'll learn a bit more about yeah. the kaiju, where they're coming from, and what they're doing. But so they're in the thick of battle, and um, one of the commandos gets a. I'm not sure what happened, but he ended up with a bracelet on his arm. Yeah, I'm not and, sure either. And a and a gemstone, and was able to put it, like connect it to the bracelet, and which some. But he didn't know. He didn't know that he knew what he was doing. He didn't know. No, like it was just like, like it was did. kind of there, and he was like, "Oh, what?" And then, and and given our really limited um, understanding of Ultraman, like we knew what was going to, I assume you knew what was going to happen. Like he's, yeah, he's yeah. Going to say, he, uh, and from what I've read, like Ultraman, the the person who calls it takes up like then people get killed, and then there's someone else who can call it, and he okay. looks like. He's obviously but did the it just appear? Did, was I not paying attention, or was did the bracelet just appear on his arm? Or? No, I don't, I don't remember how it came that came about. It just was there. Yeah. So, or maybe he um, found something. So then, basically, the rest of the episode is just a battle between the like, Ultraman and the Kaiju, and there's like a bit of commentary saying, "Well, what's that?" And someone says, "Oh, that's like the alien Ultraman." So there's and it's like, oh wow, I never thought I'd see an Ultraman before and that sort of stuff. So it's yeah. almost like maybe this is set later and um they haven't had an Ultraman help for a while. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um I and again, based on, on what we have seen, like we always just saw the Ultraman finishes, like he just do this and, and beat the person, but we so this one, he seemed to have a red fl flashing light yeah. on his chest, which to me meant like low power. I'm running out of yeah. power. I need. I do because remember. I think that there's been comments about we were yeah. just saying how easy, and there's people who have said, you know, no, but he he can get weaker or something like that. Yeah, so and he can't it, if he uses all his power up at once. It's it's no good. Like yeah. so, that's why he can't just finish them off so quickly. So yeah, but so I'm I'm unsure. But to me, the red flashing light meant that he was losing power. Yeah, low on not power. Gaining. That's what yeah, I low thought. On power. Yeah, low on power. But, but then he still seemed to be able to do all of his Maybe Ultraman moves and then fly off. It's just he like ripped the claws gonna... off. I, I noted he ripped the claw off, which was good to see. <laughs> so to me, it didn't quite and it's make got sense. Got like a did... lightning finisher. Yeah, the, the, the lightning. But it didn't make sense. Like, like if he's losing power, he didn't look like he was losing power. Maybe he was staggering around a bit more, but yeah, it didn't. Like, his his powers didn't diminish. He can still do his ultimate move. So, uh, I, I'm still learning about this stuff. But it's still just, learning. You know, yeah. Maybe maybe the um, next episodes will explain a bit more. But it was very quick. Like there it was very quick. There was no meat on the bone at all. Um, and there was the video that we watched. Is full of um, advertisements as well. Like there's an Ultraman live show and um, some Ultraman um, merchandise you can buy. It was all yeah. sort of mixed in. So I was sort of watching parts and thinking, "Is this? Oh no, this isn't the show. This is yeah. this is an yeah. ad." So there. Yeah. So if you take all that away, like it's a half an hour video. If you take all oh, that yeah, we're ads talking away, it was probably you... like eighteen minutes, minutes or something. Yeah. yeah, but that's 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 a standard. Yeah, it is. It is uh, um, allowing for ads and stuff like that. But it was like it really was. Uh, teams coming in to fight this thing. We can't fight it. We're all going to die. Ultraman comes in. Ultraman has a big fight sequence with it. Ultraman possibly getting weaker, but doesn't seem to be getting weaker. Defeats the bad guy. Flies off. Uh, the guy who summoned him sort of what seemed to be waking from a coma or something like that uh, yeah. like he was knocked out and they're waking up and everyone lives because they we don't lose anyone today yeah. if i had to comment on it, it was interesting it was like I, I really like the mix of kind of new technology but they still go with um uh, miniatures of cities suit. with people yeah. in, in suits uh, yeah i like uh, that. i think i don't think it'd be the same if it wasn't like that I think and, it, uh, and the guy in the bad guy sleep. 
Nah. And the guy in the bad guy suit is very limited moves compared <laughs> to the guy. <laughs> You're like, I'm stuck at these rubber arms. I can't do much. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah. I hope that there's a bit more character development down the track and we get to know who these soldiers are and that sort of thing. I'm assuming. Yeah, um, I hope so too. Like, but I'm uh, happy to um, watch the rest of the series like this, like sit here and go. But yeah. Yeah. Well, Interesting well. start. We'll be back for episode two then. Thanks for watching the Superpower Dare Die team. Yeah, if you uh, enjoy our videos, please remember to like and subscribe. And please, we really appreciate comments in the comment section. So uh, leave a comment if you feel that that's the way you want to go. And if you click on the bell, you'll never miss an episode.